Ashlyn. Thanks for picking up our kit and making koala bookmarks with us last week. This week we're making sock bunnies. Gather your materials and let's get started. We've provided for you in our kits one sock, one bag of rice, one ribbon, and three rubber bands. You'll also need to get from your house some scissors, a sharpie, and a jar or glass. To start, you wanna take your sock and wrap the top around the edge of the jar, just like I'm doing here. Make sure the sock is all the way inside. Then you'll wanna start pouring the rice into the sock. Now be careful, cause this will probably make a mess. So just make sure your bag is tight and not going everywhere like mine did. <laughs> And you'll probably want to shake this a little bit and push the rice into it just to make sure everything goes inside. You want to use as much rice as possible because the more rice you use, the bigger and bulkier your bunny will be. So just keep pouring and sh shoving rice inside until you have every grain of rice in there. You also want to sweep the rice from the table into your hand and pour it into the sock because it gets rid of the mess. Now carefully take the jar out or the sock out of the jar. Then section off the top with a rubber band. Then you'll want to take a smaller section at the top in the middle to make the head. Use another rubber band to section this off. Make sure both of these rubber bands are tight so that no rice escapes because that would make a mess. Then you'll want to use the smallest rubber band to make a tiny little ball at the back for the bunny's tail, just like this. To make the ears cut off the thick part at the top, then make a cut down the middle of the top section and round off the inside corners so they're more shaped like bunny ears. Then take your ribbon and make a little bow tie for the bunny. Make sure it's not too big because it's a small bunny so just cut off any extra ribbon that you have and make it a small bow. And finally, use your Sharpie to mark two dots for the eyes and a small X for the nose. And you can do a little bit of adjusting to make your bunny exactly how you want it, but for the most part, your bunny is all done. Give it a name and a special spot in your house. Thanks for crafting with us. Make sure to post your photos to social media and tag us on Instagram at Nina Library or Facebook at Nina Public Library. See you next time.